Hi everyone, this is Katie from Sudbury East for Craft Corner. Today for Craft Corner, we're going to be decorating an egg. Not a natural egg, but a homemade paper egg. This is something I see online that was really cute and I figured that it's simple enough to do at home and I'm sure most people have these materials. If not, I'm sure your local dollar store would have it. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some white paper or I have here cardstock. It is just thicker paper. So it works really well for this craft. I only paid $2 for a pack of it at Dollarama. You're gonna need some of your children's sidewalk chalk, or even if you don't have any at home, I'm sure Dollarama has plenty of it this time of year. You're gonna need some scissors, some painter's tape, or if you have masking tape or clear tape, this works as well, but I got painter's tape, and then a container of water. So let's get started. First, we're gonna make our egg shape, which is an oval. So it does not have to be perfect as long as it kind of resembles, I guess, an egg. Or if your children want to make it round, let them make it round. If they want a square egg, they can make a square egg, but I'm going to make an oval. So just like so, here is my oval. Ta-da! So put my paper aside, put my scissors aside. So what you do now is grab your painter's tape. And because this egg or oval shape is a little smaller, I'm probably going to have to maybe use less tape or half of it, kind of cut the strip in half, we'll see. So we're going to grab some painter's tape, I'm going to grab my scissors, cut it, and then what you do is you make your pattern. So I'm going to go like this. And probably good actually for children if you tape the egg, depending if you're comfortable with it, Use the painter's tape and tape it to the table so the egg doesn't move as they're decorating it. So I'm going to need another thing of painter's tape because I want to make stripes on my eggs. So we're going to do a stripe like so. There we go. And also depending chalk wise, chalk is very easy to clean up. So if you want, you can put, say, another piece of paper underneath your egg or a plastic grocery bag so that way you don't get any on your table, but it is very easy to wipe up so I'm not too concerned with my table. Now we're going to take our container of water. What you're going to do is we're going to dip our chalk just a little bit, just to say to get it wet, and then you're going to wipe it onto your egg. And this makes like a pastel chalk. So instead of using a normal chalk, it makes it almost like a crayon. So like so, I got some pink. We're gonna do this. Like so. I'm gonna grab some of this bluish purple. Just like so. It makes it actually really pretty. So that's what's nice about having the painter's tape or even masking tape is that the children can draw as much as they want and it just goes onto the tape. I'm gonna grab this orangish green. This is a great way too if you don't have pavement at home or somewhere where children can use their chalk, you can use it to make something pretty. There we go. So, and maybe this red, Did it like so. Ooh, that's a pretty red. Just like so. Then once your child has completed it, give it a couple of minutes to dry or a few seconds. It actually dries very quick. But as an example, I'm gonna remove this. Cause especially if you only just to say dip your chalk, it makes it really pretty. So like so, we'll peel it off. You can even, I'm sure, do polka dots, do all sorts of fun things. Different patterns, zigzags. But for today, we just did some stripes. So there's my first layer. And then I'm gonna try something for fun. I'm gonna make, we're gonna see about doing 
little stripes in between just to make it more colorful. So like so. I'm sure you could have done a strip across as well, but I just didn't want my chalk to peel off. Or I'm sure what I could have done as well is done zigs or lines and then lines either across or side to side. But we're gonna try this for fun. So like so grab some yellow because this Such a simple craft idea and a great way to use up some chalk if you got lots at home. Oop, mix some purple in there, that's okay. And you'll notice too, when it dries up, it goes more of a chalk powder instead of like a pastel crayon. So that's how you know when you gotta add more. So there we go. Once again, peel, peel. Look at that. And there we have it. Our sidewalk chalk egg that was painted, I guess you could say. Something different to try at home. Hope you enjoyed this little craft video I did, a little simple art to do at home. If you tried to make it at home, I'd love to see how your eggs turned out or your ovals or circles, squares, whatever the children decided. I'd love to see how it turned out. Send me pictures. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye!